What's the next big port, by the way? Is it Manila? It might actually be Manila. Actually, I do believe the ports that are kind of vibrating right about now, Manila, Hong Kong, Formosa, Okinawa, Shanghai, are the ports that we have to actually conquer in order to basically end the campaign. So you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, make our way west. Onward. Onward to freedom, friends. Patriots, loved ones. Oh, there's Germans over there. Bye-bye, uh, Germany. I mean, we're going to mid Dano, correct? Yeah, we're going to mid Dano. I'm not sure how hard that port is actually. But I guess we're going to find out. Oh, no, wait. It only has like five ships. Okay, so it must be easy as balls to actually take. Either way, we're attacking the port. We're not actually attacking the. I mean, not the port. We're attacking the convoy. We're not actually attacking the port. Okay, go around the giant jelly bean island. You have reached your destination. Hello. <laughs> that that island's called Negros. All right, so let's see. Happy cruiser, destroyer, battleship, battle cruiser, battle cruiser operation. All right, let's take out the fleet. What do you have? You have about four Mitsubishi Zero Fighters. God bless. Any a motor class battleship. Well, things are getting a little bit harder. But let's see. All right, carrier, you need. I do want to emphasize this to the highest degree. Need to go after the carrier right over here. So go ahead. Attack. Attack. And dive bombers, you can attack as well. This guy. You. You need to do the same exact thing. No ifs. Ands. Or buts. And finally, for the SS class, your job is probably the most important to send out a crap ton of fighters. Bombers and dive bombers. Good. Okay. So this baby off right. Now we'll move up the Pentecostal, the USS Kentucky. Uh, who's next? Who's next? We have a destroyer just chilling out and. I don't know. I guess that's really about it. What are you doing? Why are the fighters going to the left, to the right? No. Fighters, please. Listen to your master. So now my my fighters are going to protect the Pentecostal, I guess, instead of, you know, help out my bombers. That That's not good. I can't tell my fighters anything about it, so a little bit shit out of luck. Well, it's a little bit interesting. So... All of my fighters are still chilling out around uh, their respective carriers. The Yorktown, the Essex class, and this sort of Yorktown right over here. While my bombers are uh, going out and doing girl stuff. That's okay though, apparently his fighters are engaging with my fighters, so in general that's going to be over. That's going to be A-okay. Want to know why it's going to be A-okay? I'll tell you why. Because if he's focusing on me, then I don't have to worry about my precious fighters being destroyed by his carrier while they're en route to uh, destroy his carrier, which is awesome. Dive bombers, go. Lord's work, my child. Holy moly. That's a lot of damage. Oh shit. 
die, bummer! Ooh, that was not a nasty hit. My fighters suck, so look at this, they're all grouped up together in this little blob. And they haven't been able to shoot down a single fighter. Oh, we did kill the carrier though, that's pretty good. And now my fighters and bombers are going insane. Killing everything inside. Seems like a really good life decision in my opinion. Okay, even though we took out the carrier, we still need to deal with the madness that would be his heavy cruisers as well as his battleships and stuff like that. So we're not out of the woods yet, but we're pretty darn close. I would actually like to shoot down some of these cargo ships really fast. How is one fighter able to dodge all of these American fighters over here? This guy must be the Red Baron of the Japanese. Oh, but here's the Congo class battle cruiser. Gonna have to hit that as soon as we can. That battle cruiser is a little bit too fast, in my opinion. This might be a pretty bad set of affairs. Oh, don't worry, but the conga line of oh, fighters is here to protect my Panacosco, which is good. I'm actually not sure where he's going. Oh, now I do know. What the hell? Fighters aren't going back to help out? It's a little bit strange. Oh well. I'm wasting a ton of time here. Chick, I could be spending on defending my ships. Congo Battle Cruiser isn't much of a threat, which is good. There's just so many goddamn Japanese fighters here. Same, we need like bug spray or something. Let's pull back to destroyer really fast. Doing good, good, good stuff so far. Making sure that our attention is divided up between the Japanese ships over here on the right flank as well as the Japanese ships on the left flank. Go to the right, we would avoid those torpedoes. Good. And we can still hit the Sendai class cruiser. Nice! Okay. Good control so far over our fleet. We just have to make sure that we don't get hit by anything stupid like a torpedo. Awesome. We can now turn around and focus our efforts on the Sendai. Oh, I didn't really expect you to lift that uh, from that, but you know what? That's okay. We have a little bit of a band-aid. We'll make sure that that bandaid will be permanently stuck onto you. Like hot glue gun. Alright, now. Where are the rest of my fighters and bombers? Oh, they're over here, good. I need you to go ahead and target that cargo ship. And we can get you guys to go ahead and target those cargo ships as well over here since we can't let them leave not at all if they leave we lose the mission which would uh, suck all right pretty good now we can move my entire fleet to the left like a giant I don't know 
Swiffer Jet or something like that. You know, something that you clean the, the kitchen with. And you're just moving left to the right. Kind of wipe away the dust and the dog urine. Oh, crap. We can't shoot in front of us. Oh, well. We can, however. Shoot the Congo, which is pretty good. Come on, kill that battle cruiser. And for the time being, the Pentecostals can probably just like auto attack anybody they see. Come on, hit the oil tankers. Come on. All of your shots. They're useless to the cause. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, that's good. Are you dead yet, my son? No, you're not. Okay. There we go. Thank God. I thought th I thought he was never going to die. All right, so now we're up against the Yamoto. Turn my guns to the left, and I'm gonna move our entire fleet down south over here, just so that I can effectively deal with this Yamoto. Oh, the carrier retreated. I guess I accidentally had him on. Auto retreat or something. Must have forgot about him. Oh well. We don't need him anymore. Especially since most of the bombers are out dead. Ooh, he is going to hit the crap out of our cruisers. Much is guaranteed. Hold on a sec, let me just continue sending in dive bombers over here. Kinda wish my Pentecostal would die so that the beehive of fighters that's currently hovering over him would just like I guess scatter about and kill off all of these cargo ships. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move the Pentecostal this direction. Ah, turbine damage. Good. Now the Emoto's a little bit slower. I'm going to move this Pentecostal in here as well. So it's only going to be battleship to mano. Battleship. Mono e mono. Hopefully we're able to actually get those cargo ships in time that are kind of like on the edge of escaping. We can't let them escape. No way, no how. But then again, they are pretty fast. We wasted a ton of time fighting his navy. We we're so close to killing the Emoto. So we have help. It's just a shame that my fighters are just all around this area. Circle jerking. But that is the life. You guys aren't retreating, right? Yeah, that's good. Good, 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 good. Alright, your town, you can probably just send in one torpedo bomber to deal with this little tanker situation. He's still focused on my cruisers and not really my battleship that's currently striking him. 
Way to prioritize, man. Way to prioritize. Story is doing pretty good in clearing out the backside of this uh, convoy. Now your ass is grass, Yamoto. Ooh, your propellers were damaged. You're like a beached whale. Okay, cargo ship. Time for you to make your maker. Oh, we have nothing from you. Useless hunk of junk. Oh. I misdirected that. On. Deliver the final blow. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Oh well. Maybe next time, kids. I mean, this next time could be right about now, though. You never know. Yeah. Ah. Uh, see you in hell, scum lord. And now we can just move up to the to the west, like so. Just go insane. Just that this cargo ship over here that's all the way out is gonna be a little bit of a problem. I hope he's not able to escape. Because that would suck. Wait, hold on a sec. Do we have any more ships? I mean, no, not ships, fighters. Nope, we don't. Okay, so. I have to just focus on our guns. Oh, please get him. Please get him. Okay, there's no military vessels at all. That's pretty darn good. And hey, look! We're actually, three ships away from completing the mission. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. What the fuck? How did you take damage? Oh, I forgot. Friendly fire was thing. Okay, get out of the range of the battleship. Yes, good girl, good girl. How the AI guns for the battleship were able to just not give a fuck about my Pentecostal at all baffles me. I, I can't believe it. You killed your own dude, you scum lord. Holy shit. I can't believe that. Alright, so while I charge whoever's commanding the battleship with, like, manslaughter or something like that, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the port and heal up. That's really dumb. There's no reason why the AI for the ship should have actually been able to hit my poor defenses Pentecostal, but you know what? That's okay. That is a-okay. Okay, let's just get the next mission and let's salvage the Pentecostal. Right. I think the next purchase would probably be a battleship though. These carriers are just They're good, but their their fighters are just dumb. I don't know what's going on with them. Anyway, my name is Esther Office and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.